guy out there on the kayak's got a pretty good fish. So there are fish here today. That was interesting. My crankbait just went flying all the way across the lake. Go <clears throat> find it. I don't know what happened there. It just went flying off. <laughs> Looks like it landed on the ground though. So much for trilene being a good strong line. I don't know what happened there. I just found it went a lot farther than I thought it did. Ah, okay, there's a lot of line it's still attached to it. Must have been a, an abrasion in it. I don't know if you can hear me. It must have been an abrasion in the line, but it came flying. That's a, sixty yards from where it was. Look, there's fish in this puddle. Oh, a guy down from here has got a... Oh, man, that is a monster bass. That's got to be a five-pounder. <laughs> See what he does with it. Nah, it's not as big as I thought it was. It was just putting up a fight. Good fish here. <laughs> About three pounds. Shut it up to me. <laughs> yeah? I'm gonna get over there, help him out. He needs a picture. Yeah, I get you. I got a scale too, I'll wait for you. <laughs> Looks like it's about four pounds. You think so? At least. Yeah. You wanna uh, like this or? Whatever. What were you using? Worm? Just a night crawler? Yeah. No, 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 no. plastic. <laughs> oh, like a Senko? Yeah. What, what color? Uh, like a yeah, pumpkin. Pumpkin? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. You fish here often? Not too often. Mm -hmm. Here, good. Lip grippers hold them for you. <laughs> oh, 3.17. <laughs> it looks bigger than that. Does it? Yeah. yeah. I better let him go. <laughs> I'm catching release. You eat him? Yeah. Nah, I'm catching release. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Give me a run. Hmm? You'll be around? Yeah, I'll be around. I think I'm gonna head up into the creek over there though. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Dead deer. Well, a skeleton of a deer. It's probably the same one I saw last time, but it's possible it's a different one. No, I think it's the same one I saw last time I was here. Skull's nice and clean now. Okay, well, I just realized this whole time has been recording in narrow. So hopefully you picked up that, that three pounder that the guy caught. Something in there. Just saw the wake. Got one. Look at that. Oh, he slipped off. That was a little bass, but I had him. So they are in here. I think I see the rib cage of another deer. It's probably the same one I passed last time. Oh look, there's a rib cage of a deer directly across from me. That's a different one. It's one I didn't see last time because I was on this side. So there are more dead deer out here than there than I thought there was. It's a rib cage and some other stuff. Can't really tell. Can't get across there to check it out either. But there looks like there's another one over here too. And that's mentioned that first one I saw. This, I saw this one the last time too. 
last time I was out here because I remember trying to get around all this stuff to see it. Big rib cage. The first one was pretty small. These two were fairly, I'd say average, average sized deer. What do we got here? Bunch of soccer balls out here. That some kind of design drawn on it. There was a soccer ball floating in the creek when I first got down here. There's another one there. I guess the, that youth soccer league over here is probably kicking them out to the lake, losing them. See something up ahead in the woods here. Some kind of box. It's like a styrofoam ice chest, maybe. Look, there's a trail out here. It's also a barbed wire fence. It's cut down right there. Styrofoam box. Uh, it actually looks like uh, the kind of styrofoam box that would transport fish in. What is this? Got a tree that fell, fell down over some kind of a foundation, probably for a, probably a restroom at one point. Got the barrel here, there's a gas can in there. This was either a fire pit or an outhouse. This tree fell down, it had some nails driven through it, so I wonder what it said, what the nails were for. I bet that's what that was because up ahead there's a looks like a dining area. Concrete foundation with a metal canopy. And there's somebody else up here on the creek. So head back down this way. Had a little one. There's a guy over here in the front, caught a three pounder. Yeah. <laughs> Friend of mine caught a seven pounder up the creek here. Yeah, I know a buddy Steve, he took his little son back there, the box of worms, and ended up pulling like a seven pound bass out. There's some big ones in here. Yeah. <laughs> Want to be in a YouTube video? <laughs> it's like a little spot, too. Yeah. <laughs> nice coloring. Yeah. Well, bait's bigger than you, buddy. Is that a four inch Senko? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's all, I've, that's all I've been catching on lately. I'd be happy with those. <laughs> <laughs> There's something. <laughs> Can't complain. I use the uh, Yum Dingers usually. Swim dingers and yum dingers. Oh yeah. So yeah, Senko with the paddle good. tail. Yeah. Okay. So. I just go finesse, no weight. Get that action yeah. ball with no weight, man. Ah, I missed a fish. I didn't even get it on camera. That was a good one too. Okay. He's under the log, but I got one. Try to get him around the log. We're over it. Oh, not a bad one, not a bad one at all. Nice. Nice fish. Ugh. Not a bad one. Probably about two pounds. Large mouth. Not the spotted one. The guy a little while ago caught a spotted bass. This one's a large mouth.
Uh, 1.67 1.67 uh, I can't see there we go get this guy released he he slammed on that as soon as it hit the water Let me get over here where I can get closer to the water anyway whoa And he's gone.